sitting with the chair behind you, whether you're sitting in or at the floor, notice the support at your back body, reach back and catch any aspect of the chair, and then lift your gaze, and then look down. Lift your gaze and straighten the legs. Bring your feet together, press them into each other and let your hands wherever they are also push down. Taking one leg out, bear down and lift the other one. Very good. Take the time and switch which leg is bearing down, which leg is lifting, one foot is turned out, one is neutral. So interesting what happens when the back body is supported. Switch which is the neutral leg, which is the turned out leg, and bear down with the turned out leg, lift the neutral leg. Yeah? Lift your gaze, shoulder blades are supported. Switch which leg is lifting, which leg is anchoring. And the very subtle ways we use the chair still counts the very specific and bigger dynamic ways we use the chair truly gets our attention. All right, take the time and turn to the side. And as you do, and I'll switch how the chair is relative to me, as you turn to the side, bend in the knee that is closest to the chair. Keep the other leg long and then turn. And so while I'm here, the leg against the chair that can maybe rest against the edge of the chair has that support. And depending on the length of your frame, the size of the chair relative to you, that you're gonna find both arms with their push-pull actions. Listen to your shoulders, notice length in your spine, keep extending the long leg, and then if you will, turn it out and bear down, right? The Long leg at the floor bears down. We're gonna stay here for a breath or two, and then we're gonna lift it again. To appreciate that if we change the leverage pattern, something else comes into play, supports what we're doing, that's what happens in life. Bear down, come to neutral, and keep turning your head, look behind you. And then turn your head and look back over the other shoulder. I know that's counterintuitive, but it is a wonderful place to explore. It engages the back a little bit more. Very nice. Keep the arm that is the same side that's gonna stay. Take the other one behind you. And if you want to keep it simple and just bear down into the floor, all well and good. But if you have the length in your limbs, to reach across and find some aspect of the chair, I'm holding the leg of the chair, then continue to turn in that direction and just feel what is different. Follow your intuition. I'm gonna put my inside arm in the seat of the chair and keep using it to lift the ribs and add more rotation. Amazing, wonderful. Inhale and come on back and exhale and switch. You're welcome to just swivel around. I'm gonna take my chair in the other direction. Think about what happened on the other side that you're going to lift and find some aspect of the chair. That bent knee is against the chair. It bears into it some aspect of it and how you uh, are able to grasp certain areas of the chair then makes this your practice. That long leg can turn out and bear down. Just subtle changes. Then lifting it. To notice that it is different on this side, it is for me. As you lower that leg and continue to bear down in neutral, turn and look over your shoulder and behind. Feel where your breath goes. And then turn your head back, 
look over the shoulder and get ready for our transition of having the twist in the opposite direction. Right, we're getting there in uh, small increments. When you're ready for change, the outside arm can go behind you and it can catch some aspect of the chair or it can press into the floor. Then finding the lift. Noticing how from the other side, we are able to continue making adjustments, creating balance and what we explore over here, continuing to turn the rib cage by how we use the arms. And inhale and come on back. Nice. From here, I'm gonna turn and I am all of a sudden with the back of the chair behind me again. And I'm gonna bear into the legs of the chair. I'm gonna bear down and use that to help me climb up. Easy transition. You're welcome to try any other way. While you're here, the blanket can turn and I'm gonna place mine with a little bit more of a fold just underneath my heels. You're welcome to use a block or simply to use the floor. But the idea now is to fold and then to unfold. I'm gonna put a block between my feet. My hands roll off the edge of the block and I'm gonna bear into the heels, bear into the toe mounds resist the elbows to the inner knees and look ahead because despite the fact that uh, this is a fold, we want to not collapse the front body. So whether you move your hands more forward, I'm inviting you to rock up onto your toes and to lean in, to broaden, to lengthen the neck, to broaden the chest and then to sit back down, okay? And as you play with repetition, just warming up how your body is taking this on, you can make the blanket lower and bear into the heels. It's just a different angle of strengthening, sitting bones reach back. And again, keeping all of the same relationships, I'm gonna lean in, I'm gonna rise up out of the chair and lean forward and then come back. You may like using the blanket roll. Your ankles may truly need it to stay, but if you'd like to take the blanket ahead of you and then aim for the heels at the floor, then come on, fold a little deeper and bear in. This is the initiating the starting point. When our pelvis is way up here, we can control a little bit more how the feet can be a little bit more parallel. I know they want to turn out. I know they need to turn out. But as we strengthen, then we'll aim a little bit more toward parallel. And then again, please make your adjustment and lean in. Lean in, broaden, lengthen, and release. Bring the block back close by. Bring the second one tall or medium or low. And then as we give this position, this shape, just a little bit more attention, a little bit more time, we're gonna bear down and we're gonna focus then on the legs, lifting the legs, lifting the spine in this strengthening flexion, extending one or both legs. It's an opportunity. Stay here and take another breath and then slowly pull it in. Very nice. I'm going to keep one block between my feet, one block between my hands. Doesn't matter the width. You are welcome to ignore me and spend time with repetition. Use this as homework. Explore. But because the chair is here, it is reminding us, oh, but we really want to orient back. We want to orient our sitting bones back. And then slowly lift. We are ready to open. 
And as we turn and face the, the chairs beside us, we're gonna turn to the side. I just want you to pause here, still catch hold the block. I'm gonna make mine narrow and I'm gonna hold the other one in my hand and just keep reminding the shoulder area, this broadening soles of the feet to the floor, legs are on, rotating inward to continue uh, strengthening all of those patterns of push from the shoulders through to the fingers and rotating forward. <laughs> 